Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Alex here with Keon, and today we are going to be debating. Yeah, we're going to be, today we're going to be debating whether the Jalen Hurts pick was the right move for the Philadelphia Eagles. So Keon is a Philadelphia Eagles fan, so I'll let him go last and wrap up everything. So as the person who is not not a hater of the Eagles, but not a fan of the Eagles, I'm just going to give my opinion pretty quickly. I think it was – I don't hate the move, but I am far from somebody who supports the move. I think it was way too high of a pick for Jalen Hurts, especially with a team uh, that is not as needy of, like, a potential future option uh, as, like, the Eagles. So, uh, obviously, Carson Wentz has his injury issues, and a backup is really crucial on that team. However, I just think that the first, second, and possibly third round is where you draft players who are going to start eventually on your team. So drafting a quarterback in the second round is kind of showing Carson Wentz that they have a plan in mind with uh, Jalen Hurts in the future, which I don't doubt. But I don't know if the plan is replace Carson Wentz with Jalen Hurts. So um, I saw Dan, Lor Dan Orlovsky's uh, tape on like showing how they're going to use him in Philadelphia when it comes to how they um like how they're gonna do a rollout package with like having two quarterback system and they're showing how oh Jalen Hurts has the option to toss here um toss back throw yada yada and the one thing I saw a counter uh, analytics when it comes to this stuff and it just showed that uh, because Houston, Houston doesn't give the type of pressure that the NFL defenses do so uh, NFL defenses are going to key in a lot more on these type of situations. And also cornerbacks are better than university of Houston's and like defensive schemes are far more ready for this. Um, so I don't think that's going to be as successful as much of a dream as people think. And like the bottom line is, is that there's nine offensive players really to worry about besides the two quarterbacks. And it's like the people are like, Oh, well, Jalen hurts can uh, run out and do routes or so can Carson Wentz. But in my opinion, I think it would just be better to have a wide receiver like Denzel Mims or um, somebody somebody else who is more capable of doing that as a specialist role rather than having somebody who can just do it all. Because we see with Taysom Hill, everybody likes to um, hype him up, but in reality, he really is a gadget player who's thrown six completions. So um, I don't think that's worth a second round pick. If it was a third round, all on board all on board somebody with a shit ton of um potential and i saw some stats um i read an article comparing baker mayfield kyler murray and jalen hurts which is unfair because the other two are obviously superior but um jalen hurts scrambled on 13 percent of his uh snaps under center or not under center just snaps in general in lincoln riley's offense and that just shows that he's uncomfortable in the pocket and you can't do that in the nfl they'll put a spy on you or else a linebacker will key in and then he'll just get killed so I think that if they did it a round later, great. I mean, it's somebody you can take a pot shot on, but first two rounds, somebody you should really just keep, um, somebody you should be preparing for to stay on your team for the long haul and to make immediate impact. Keon, I'll let you go. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I do want to say, Alex, I do agree with a lot of what you just said. I'm not 100% on board with this decision, but uh, I'll say that as I came to, you know, learn, learn, uh, more about him and more about the fit on the Eagles and more about the rest of the draft, which is incredibly important. I am a supporter of this pick. First, I need to analyze Jalen Hurts as the player, okay, because uh, him as a player and him on the Eagles are two completely different things. So as a player, in my opinion, he could very well be the third best quarterback in this draft. I just feel that he gets a bad rep because, you know, he was behind Tua for most of his college career and uh, – you know, when you're behind someone like that and you're on the bench and, like, people see you getting benched in the championship game and Tua comes in and wins the game, they're like, oh, shit, this guy isn't really all that, you know? Um, but you look back on his senior season at Oklahoma, 3,600 passing yards, 1,200 rushing yards. And most importantly, I would say, is him as a person. Like, ladies and gentlemen, if you get benched in the championship game, like, think about the emotions you would have. You know, you would be angry, you would be sad. And instead of transferring out the next year, this man stayed in that locker room, in that system, just waiting for another chance. And guess what? Another year rolls about against Georgia again. 
Tua gets injured, and then Jalen Hurts comes in and wins the game. He's a great locker room presence. He's a great guy. I think he'll be a great quarterback. I think he'll be a Dak Prescott with wheels if he achieves his full potential, and I hope the best for him as a player and a person. Now comes the pick number 53 that the Philadelphia Eagles selected him with. Um, you know, at first I thought it was a really bad pick. I think looking at the rest of the draft, I think they did a decent job at the draft in general. I mean, they got exactly what they wanted. They got a couple of speedy wide receivers, you know, they got a all right safety on the fourth round cave on Wallace. Um, they got a nice linebacker. I think the draft in general was a, you know, it was all, all right to a good success for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, and Jalen Hurts in the second round, you know, I think a lot of people are saying, you know, he went too high. Why did he go to the Eagles? They just signed Carson Wentz to a four-year, like, you know, over a hundred million dollar contract. And here's the reason: Carson Wentz has been injured three of the last three years. Okay, as in he's been injured every single year. Okay, three of the last three years, a hundred percent of the years, Carson Wentz is injured. Okay, if that makes any sense. Okay. Um, the year they won the Super Bowl, it was with a backup quarterback. And a lot of people are using that as justification for why the backup quarterback is so – position is so important. Um, and I'll agree with them. You know, uh, executive of the Eagles a few years ago said the backup quarterback position with Carson Wentz as a starting quarterback, that's the ninth most important position on the whole team, okay? This is something that could win – us a playoff game okay i'm not he's not ready to win us to the super bowl or anything like that but carson wentz is injury prone he is our quarterback he is a great quarterback okay you know he's he could be the caliber of a deshaun watson he almost won an mvp you know like like not the same player as deshaun watson i'm just saying like that caliber of player you know in general um i like jalen hurts a lot i think that their whole type of reasoning for this pick is listen we need a backup quarterback, okay? We need someone who loves the game. We need a good locker room presence, okay? And if we need a backup quarterback, then why don't we get someone who could also run, who could also do in trick plays? Doug Peterson's a very creative coach. I think he'll fit him in whatever way he will, kind of like Lamar Jackson before he actually started, you know, when he was still behind Joe Flacco, you know, kind of run him in that set. People are saying Taysom Hill. Um, Taysom Hill – is not a quarterback at this point. He's not the starting quarterback at this point. He is what he is. He is that gadget player, and he will stay a gadget player. Okay, Jalen Hurts is an actual quarterback. So I just want to say that uh, um, I support the decision. I think it'll work out well. I think that it is a good system for Jalen Hurts to be in. He's definitely going to sit a couple years, um, and beyond that, you may never know. You know, Carson Wentz could retire at 30 just like Andrew Luck because he's taken quite a beating. So – we never know what will happen. I like him as a person. I like this for the Philadelphia Eagles. All right. Well, um, that wraps up both of our sides of the debate on this. Uh, obviously, I stand – my biggest issue is with the pick, like the number pick, not the actual pick itself. Yeah. So, um, obviously, I think he's a great locker room presence. And I'm actually kind of excited to see what Doug Peterson does. So I think that's going to wrap it up for us on this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. It was actually quite fun. Uh, let us know what we can do better, what you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Awesome. Thank you, guys.